why women keep putting you in the friend zone. Sharp Game coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So, I got this question from a long-time listener. Um, he seems to think that, maybe it could be true, but he, by, he said in the email he says, it seems like every woman he meets, after a while, he said it seems like they want to put him in the friend zone. They don't want to, you know, take things to the next level, get physical. You know, it seems like things go south after a while, or at least things go in a direction where he don't want it to go. And there's a lot of reasons for this. But the number one reason why this happens, the number one reason why women put you in the friend zone is because you put her on the pedestal. See, the, the crazy thing is about this. Most guys automatically do this. Most guys see the attractive woman. And she, oh, she's beautiful, man. You know, and he automatically starts to treat her different. Automatic, and he don't know her from a can of paint. And all this is based on how she looks. Meanwhile. That same woman doesn't believe she looks the way you think she looks. She, nine times out of ten, she, she doesn't like herself the way you think she should like herself. She is not satisfied with something about her. This same beautiful woman that you see on the bus, at work, walking down the street, at the park, at the beach, in the mall, on television. Maybe she's a model. Maybe she's in a video. Maybe she's at church. This same woman is insecure about something. But you don't see it that way. You think... She should see things the way you see it. And you assume that. And that's the mistake that a lot of guys make. Meanwhile, this same woman that's insecure, you giving her all this shine, all this props, which in most cases she don't deserve, is you don't know her from a can of paint. You don't know what she's done, what she's accomplished, if she's accomplished anything. And meanwhile, there's women that you know personally that gets no shine but they deserve to get the shine because of what they've accomplished over the past 30, 40, 50 years but you give them no shine and some of these women are probably in your family and some of these women you probably met over the past 20, 30, 40 years you give them no shine you give them no props but you have women on the internet, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. You automatically give them props, give them shine. And what have most of these women done? They have done nothing. They haven't accomplished anything, most of these women. All most women have done online, all these women that... You give them, you treat them special. You give them a special treatment based strictly on looks and nothing else. There's no proof of anything that they've done. No shine, no nothing. Just strictly on looks, 110%. And that's a mistake because 
See, most women know that the best thing they got going for them is their looks and their sexuality. Once you get past that, most women are not going to have much left to offer a man. This is why any man that's secure in himself knows who he is. The the nice body, big butt and smile and and the, the sex, that ain't gonna really work on him. And even if it does work for a while, he's gonna shake that off and come back to his uh, some sense and face reality. That hey, sure, she might have a nice body, banging body. She might be attractive. She might be just a girl that physically that you like. Like banging in, in the sack, everything. But then you're gonna get, then you're gonna start reflecting on things that you like, things that you want in a woman. Things that you probably written down at some point along the way before you met this woman. And if those principles are too far fetched from her, you probably gonna have to let her go. If she's not lovable or She's uh, uh, not a nurturing woman, uh, a passionate woman, passionate about anything that's positive. It could be anything. If she doesn't, uh, you know, if she's not too far gone, not broken, hopefully, you know, maybe y'all can really get to know each other on a level where she's probably never got to know the rest of the guys in the way that she possibly can get to know you on a, a deeper, much intimate level. I'm talking like to the core. I'm talking like, let's get real. I'm talking like, hey, what? I mean, where is this going? I mean, like, 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 stop. We don't, let's stop playing games. I mean, what, I mean, what you about? I mean, like that. I mean, like, hey, you know, tell me what you think about. If anything, <coughs> I mean, tell me what you believe. Tell me how you grew up. How was it growing up where you grew up at? You know, like, 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 tell me about your family, your parents. I mean, how did you get treated growing up? How did you, how did your dad make you feel? What, what's the relationship between your parents like? And what's the relationship between you and your parents like? What's the family dynamic like? I mean, I'm talking like real like that. I'm talking like questions where she has to think about it. She can't just give you a random answer that she got, that she's been giving everybody else for the past 10, 20 years since she left the, her parents' house. If she's not, you know, maybe she's still living with her parents. I don't know. But, you know. I mean, when things get real, to really get to know somebody, y'all really have to see things the way it is. Not the way you want to. See her, him and her, the way it is. Or vice versa. You know, that's... That's that's the only way you're really going to get to know someone. This is why so much time is spent 
in the beginning of most uh, relationships when, while people are dating. Most of the time, early on in the beginning, is wasted time because people are just putting their best foot forward. People are not really showing you who they really are. They just putting up a front most of the time. And then so three, six months go by, 12 months go by. You don't really know who the, the real person is until, in most cases, three to six months, 12 months. Could be longer than that. It's really difficult to get to know somebody until you live with them. When you live with somebody, that's when you really know who they really are. Know what they really are capable of, you know. So, but if you put the woman on a pedestal, the only way she can look at you is down. Psychologically, she might not see it that way, but psychologically, the only way she can look at you is down. And see, most women know that. They're uncomfortable being on the pedestal. Most women, but they won't admit. They won't. They'll never. I don't think most women would ever admit to that. Because they like the attention. And maybe she's not used to a lot of attention. Maybe she missed out on a lot of attention when she was growing up. I don't know. But I know one thing. There's no such thing as too much of attention. There's no such thing as too much attention when it comes to women. They're not going to turn it down. But at the same time, they know in most cases they don't deserve it. Because they look at you like a lot of women, not all, but a lot of women would look at you like, why is this guy being nice to me? Off top. I just met him five minutes ago. Two minutes ago. And he's saying all this stuff and doing all this crazy putting all this crazy stunt. What do you want from me? So some women would prey on you. Some women would, would look at you as a mark. It's not all, but some. It just depends on how she grew up, where she grew up, her morals and values. You know? So, the moral to the story is this. At the end of the day, you are the prize. If you know who you are, you really are the prize if you're the man. Most women are not going to admit to that either because they go along with the trends in society just like mo most of the guys go along with the trends in society. But women benefit being with us more than them in the long run. This is just how it is. I mean, if you look at how society is set up, women don't run society. Women don't set up things in society. No society. I don't care, even in the jungle. Women don't run things out in the wilderness, in the jungle, or in the cities, on the small... No. It's never been like that. And I don't think that's ever going to change. And there's a reason for that. It ain't got nothing to do with being no... Male chauvinistic and all. That's crap. Look, women are good at doing certain things. And men are good at doing certain things. But we got to play our position. We can't be out here trying to make up stuff and uh, using all these reinventing the wheel. And That's a bunch of crap. We got to stick to what works. That's why... That's a part of our DNA. We're supposed to lead as men. Yeah. Women are not built for that. Do women take the leadership role? Yeah, but they usually burn out after a while. They usually do. They get sick. You know, they, they have all kinds of diseases, high blood pressure, and I can go on and on and on. You know. So I, I write about a lot of this stuff, man. If you want any help with this, Go get my book, Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Um, 
Go to my website, chooseyourrelationships.com, and check out all my programs. Anything that you help, need help with, approaching women, um, just dating and attracting women. Everything is on my website, chooseyourrelationships.com. But I would advise you to start with my book, Love Can't Wait. And if you love, like Love Can't Wait, feel free to, to, to buy the rest of the stuff at my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. So if you like this video, video, share this video, like this video, click the little bell below this video, and subscribe if, if it's your first time. That way, when I go live, you get to ask me any question that you would like. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.